Now, before a game, the warm-up is very important. Because you want to warm up all your bones, and you don't want to <clears throat> pull anything. So, I suggest just a little bit of catch and throw. And then, eventually, you do a little stretches. All right, here. All right, so now, Chun and I, we feel good about our throwing. So, now we're just going to go for a little jog to get our... thousand years later so we just went for a jog we're a little bit warmed up now we gotta do stretching so we don't pull anything so we're going to do neck rotations all right just for a little bit and then now we're just going to do arm pulls there we go then this one over here beyond the neck and then we do to the other arm All right, now we just do toe touches. Now I like to uh, work your way all the way down. And, and just you slowly want to go. You don't want to be bouncing, because that could hurt you later on. All right, now just do a SpongeBob episode, my favorite one. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. This is where you want to start your groin all the way out. It drives the ladies crazy, trust me. All right, now just a little ankle rotations. Don't want to twist your ankle. All right, and then now we're just gonna get down, lean to one side. All right, lean to the other. All right, now just butterfly. Again, you don't want to bounce up and down. You just want to Go like that, just push down slowly. And that's our warm up. Now we just get ready for the game time. At the start of a game, it's important that you warm up your arm too. You won't want to go onto the field throwing cold. It's time to get to some simple throwing mechanics. The first thing you want to do in baseball is not start to throw too hard too early. So, first, we just have to warm up with a nice, easy step. The key to this is first taking your back foot and facing it open towards your target and then bringing your front foot forward down and separate and throw the ball. As easy as that. Bringing your arms down when you separate the ball from your glove allows you to point your glove towards the target and at the same time generate extra speed with your arm. Pointing your toe towards the target will allow for an accurate throw. If done properly, your chest will point towards the target and your glove will tuck in around your hip. Your arm will also follow through down towards your knee. Now that you've learned the proper mechanics of throwing a ball, it's time to use it in a game situation such as pitching. Alright, so the first thing about pitching is that you want to make sure that you do not balk. A balk happens when you do not come to a stance. A balk happens when you just go right into your pitching motion. Now to prevent this, you're going to want to bring your glove up to your chest. Take a break so that the batter gets ready. Knows that you're going to pitch the ball. Bring your front foot up. Extend. Point your glove at the target then throw and bring your leg all the way up here so that you're ready to field the ball. So you want to do an all in one motion. You don't want to go like this, like that. That's not fluent. That's not good. And now there are many pitches that you can do. I'm just going to throw a fastball. So it just goes like this. success when it comes to pitching is getting a full stride with your legs. This allows you to point your feet towards your target and also cut down distance to the plate, meaning less time 
for the ball to be in the air, which means more accuracy and more speed. The second game situation that we will be showing you today is when a catcher has to throw the runner out at second. So what the catcher wants to do in this case is get a perfect read on the steal. He wants, once he gets the ball, he wants to jump up with his back foot and have his momentum going forward and then throw the runner out at second. Catchers must be ready for anything, even throws in the dirt. And if they want to still make an accurate throw down to second, they have to be quick on their feet and make sure their foot is pointing towards the target and generate a lot of power off of their back leg. last in-game situation we are going to show you is fielding a ball and throwing it onto first base. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to field a ground ball. So you want to have a wide stance and you want to be low to the ground just in case the ball goes anywhere else and you're able to shuffle and you're mobile. You want to be low and you want to have your glove low to the ground also. And once you field the ball, you want to make sure your hand comes in and gets the ball. You want to also be looking at the ball the whole time and have your chest up just in case the ball takes a bounce and you have it up here, you can block it anywhere. And basically, after you field it with the alligator position, you want to look at the target and you want to step twice and throw it out. An important part of making an accurate throw to first base is to make sure your feet are planted and pointed towards the target when you make that throw. Otherwise, the ball will spray somewhere else and may result in an overthrow. And that just about wraps up our video. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new about baseball.